So the trip is complete. I have another video that'll come out in a couple of days that is more the narrative of the trip. But I want to take a few minutes and really just a couple of minutes and just break down price or cost. Uh, 25 days. I'm not counting the first four or five days I was in Redmond, Oregon for the MOA rally. Uh, that's, that's out of this equation. I'm just going through basically three credit cards and um, adding all those up. A couple things about credit cards too, like um, definitely keep note of foreign transaction fees. I didn't have any because I've, I don't use cards on trips out of country that have foreign transaction fees. Those can really add up. And so the cards I used, I have a diverse group of cards for different categories. The cards I used were um, the Amex Hilton card for gas. That's my biggest gas card I have. Uh, and it ha and, but it does have foreign transaction fees. And so I used that card uh, all the U.S. gas stations for fuel and food. And then I used my uh, Chase United card, uh, no foreign transaction fees, at places that don't take American Express. So that's just kind of with my carry card. And then I use my BMW Motorrad card for the 750 that I spent in tires uh, in um, Big Sky Motorsports in Montana. And then every other trans transaction was on the MX Platinum. Not because the MX Platinum has the best point multiplier or return on points, but because it has the best protection. When you're putting your card into all kinds of kiosks, you know, paying for parking, etc. It's just really nice to have that chargeback ability. In fact, uh, I just noticed that it, one, one hotel charged me twice. They said I stayed for two nights, I stayed for just one night. And the guy, you know, told me it would take him a week to review the security footage and get back to me. And I said, I'm just gonna charge back on my platinum card. I don't, I'm not gonna deal with this, you can deal with them. You charge me for two nights. And I think that, that uh, using an Amex, especially the gold or platinum or the, um, the higher tier annual fee cards is just good for uh, getting your shit taken care of when people, uh, you know, try to sc screw you over. Uh, I also sent him this beautiful screenshot of, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up here on the overlay, but beautiful screenshot of me, um, of the check-in app I use. I check into locations for, for my own um, history of where I've been. It's just kind of a thing that I've always done. And um, <laughs> I sent in the screenshot that showed I got to his hotel at 2.25 a.m., and I crossed the state line into Illinois at 8.56 a.m., my iron butt day. And so there's no way that I could have stayed a second night because I was in Charlotte, North Carolina by midnight that second night that he said I was staying in a hotel. hotel. Whatever. MX will just take the money off. It's no big deal. All right, so getting to the screenshots here from the Excel spreadsheet. Of course we got spreadsheets. So we have, um, in total, total spending for the whole 25 days, it's a blistering number. Uh, it is $5,519. Uh, is that right? Did I get that right? No, sorry, $58.67 uh, for the entire, um, the entire time. Um, it's a lot of money. It works out to a daily, to daily average of 234 per day. And when you talk to moto travelers who are doing world trips, the difference between myself and them is that um, I'm eating whatever food I want to eat. And I'm staying, when I stay in a hotel, I'm staying in a hotel that is not total garbage. And finally, I'm doing 600 to 900 mile days. And so I did, you know, I covered over 11,000 miles in uh, 25 days. A lot of these world travelers will do 50,000 miles in a year. And so their daily fuel average is not $120 a day. It's more like $20 to $30 a day. Uh, so I think fuel is what really was the big one for me. In fact, over 25 days, I spent um, $1,200 in fuel, and which worked out to... Uh, $46 a day in fuel. Sounds a little off there on the, the average. But um, obviously days ever more. And then I, I have some follow-up here on the fuel stuff in a second. Tourist I broke down differently. So the way I broke down tourist was um, I lumped a bunch of stuff in here. I lumped ferries in here. Uh, park passes were lumped in here. Um, 
uh, Bear Spray, which was like 75 bucks, was put in here. Uh, Garmin, 150 for Garmin, was put in here. Uh, a car wash, uh, Old Faithful, uh, just all kinds of just random stuff was put in there. And that total ended up being 461.50 for miscellaneous. So, um, you know, stuff that you want to do when you're going through places, take a ferry, get into a national park, etc. buy bear spray. Uh, food was $13.79, and, you know, that works out to a daily average of uh, $55 a day in food. Not not terrible, really. And, um, you know, that is that is also... I was in places where fuel was $10 a gallon and food was $30, $40 for a plate, and so even though I was doing protein bars or milkshakes or you know, protein shakes for breakfast at like the gas stations, uh, almost every day, by the way, I have a fuel charge. And then the same place, I did like a $5 or 5 Canadian charge for like a water, a vitamin water, and a protein bar. And that was my daily breakfast. Lunch, cafe, or I would skip lunch. And then dinner was always a really hearty meal. And so $30, $40 meals at dinner was pretty common. I also drink beer and cocktails and stuff. So that is also in the part of the food. Uh, mechanical 755, that was tires at Big Sky Motorsports in Helena. Uh, lodging, 1455. So uh, 58 bucks a day on lodging. I stayed in more hotels than I really wanted to. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. It varies day by day. Weather, uh, I think a big one was I was you know leaving town at 9 a.m. and riding until 9 p.m. And just campsites were full. I couldn't find dispersed camping that wasn't in grizzly country. I was in grizzly country 21 of the 25 days. And yeah, that, that kind of gave me a little bit more anxiety around camping in the woods. Um, so I probably spent double what I wanted to on uh, lodging. So all total, yeah, 58, 67, and 234 per day. Uh, let's get into gas before we hit the 10-minute mark here. So gas, I used 226 gallons of fuel. Fun thing about the GS, I have a lot of people that uh, will bring octane booster with them on trips. Uh, I think the GS requires 89 octane, or 91, I think it's 89. Um, maybe 91 because of California. But uh, I ran 87 30% of the time because I had to with my only choice. Iowa even had all their pumps. They had 87 octane, and the rest of them were like various ethanol blends all the way up to 85. And so obviously my only choice was 87 octane. Uh, also note, if you do 87 octane ethanol free, you're getting a little bit better uh, boost there. But some parts of Canada, 87 was the only option. Uh, average price paid for fuel, $4.98 a gallon. But the highest I paid for fuel in U.S. dollars was uh, $8.02. U.S. dollars was the highest price per gallon that I paid. Uh, that ended up being a $54 fill up. Uh, average MPG over the course of the entire trip was 41.9 miles per gallon. And if I think back just in my head, looking at the price of diesel, you know, my truck gets you know, 26 to 30 miles per gallon hauling a dirt bike around uh, as a diesel. And diesel was a little bit cheaper than premium in some of the areas. But when you do the differential between 30 miles per gallon and 42 miles per gallon, um, I would have spent a little bit more to do this in the truck than I would on the bike, not considering oil and tires and wear and tear on the truck, et cetera, uh, and the fun factor. So it wouldn't have really made sense economically to take the, well, I take that back. The truck may have made more sense economically to do, you know, um, you know, arrive into the Yukon, park the truck, and then do like Dempster one day, Dawson City one day, top of the world highway one day on the Husky 701 and do more gnarlier trails and then every night come back to the truck and camp in the truck for free in a parking lot or in a Walmart or Canadian Tire for free. That actually probably would have been a good idea. It would have saved me about half my, more than half my lodging cost, but it would have been a little bit more in fuel, so maybe it wouldn't have made sense in the end. But yeah, 226 gallons of fuel, a lot of gas was used. So, you know, I, I think I'm, I'm, not, I'm not happy with the daily average. If I were really, truly on a tight budget uh, and still doing the same amount of miles, so you know that, that fuel cost of 1200 bucks would be fixed. That miscellaneous of 461, that tourist of 662, uh, those would be fixed costs. I'd still be looking at, without eating a single thing or sleeping anywhere, I'd still be looking at over two grand, $2,200 or so. Let's just make sure I'm right on the math here. Dupe, dupe, 
Nope. Yeah, twenty three hundred dollars. Um, food I could have done way better on. I could have packed more. I could have cooked more. I didn't go to the grocery store once. I was just buying to go food. So you know, prepared meals are higher, expensive, more expensive. I ended up eating five of my dehydrated meals, and I bought five more. Uh, I think I ate two of those. There's some left over. So if I could have eliminated lodging and did full dispersed camping and ignored the grizzly threat um, and saved money on fuel, I probably could have kept this trip under four grand. I'm sorry, under five grand. But we still would have been looking at 125, 150 a day. All right, that's the trip video recap on the spending. Hope this is enlightening. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't think that you should go on a, you know, a, a one or two month trip um, and want to do everything and want to cover big mileage and want to stay in hotels and then be surprised that you're spending that much money. But assuming you own everything, the bike, the gear, you have the time off. Five grand or five fifty hundred dollars for a month on the road, uh, cross country, all the way to the top of the world. It's not necessarily awful considering I was not watching spending. I was spending what I wanted to, and uh, it's not happy overall. Thanks for watching, everyone. Kept under fifteen minutes. <laughs> Go me.